This is Schneider Electric's Galaxy VL UPS. This first cabinet here is the maintenance bypass cabinet. You have three circuit breakers, UIB or unit input breaker, MBB maintenance bypass breaker, and at the bottom UOB UPS or unit output breaker. Kirk keys interlock the maintenance bypass and the output breaker with the trapped key and the solenoid up here. You have indication lights for H, MBB, and the UOB UPS output breaker. This cabinet is the UPS cabinet. It houses the power modules and static switch. Uh, first, the power modules are in 50 kW increments, so 50, 100, 150, 200 kW in this configuration, but can scale out to 500 kW total in this chassis. Uh, static switch up here. You have your network connection up here. Obviously behind the door, uh, next to the door you have a spot to have uh, manuals, factory testing, and installation uh, procedures. The unit's serial number and model number are located on a tag up in this top corner. If you need to call tech support, they will ask you to reference that serial number. And then you have the front touch screen display. Here's one of the main home menus. Um, it displays the output voltage, the mode, of the UPS and the system mode, the output power, the battery capacity. Uh, the next major screen here is this display. This brings us back to the main control menu where we can go back, view the status of input, output, bypass, batteries, or temperatures. We can view its event logs. We can go into the control menu, which we'll do next. Configuration, maintenance menu, statistics, the about page, which is useful to get the uh, power rating of the UPS, the serial number to give to text. To wake the screen up from sleep mode, to check alarms or just the status of the UPS, simply touch anywhere on the screen. And right now you can see we have a red X, a critical alarm, and it's beeping. To check it, just click the red X, and then it'll display the alarm. From the control menu is where we can manually put the UPS in different states. or we can go through a guided sequence and it'll show us a step-by-step -step process on how to operate the UPS in different scenarios. The screen up here is called the Mimic Diagram and it shows you a visual representation of what the one-line diagram is operating as in the UPS. In this case, we're in maintenance bypass mode. So we'll go into regular uh, normal operations. Now the Mimic diagram shows the UPS in normal operating uh, mode, except for in this case I don't have a battery breaker um, closed because I don't have a battery bank in my lab, uh, but yours would have a straight line through here and the, UP the battery system would have a statistics associated with it.